Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video on Byte of Linux. Now before I started, I just wanted to say that I'm very sorry for not uploading a video, I was out of town and I didn't have access to my computer. But hopefully today we'll get back into business. And also another thing, while I was out, there was a tremendous amount of growth on my channel, I passed the 100 subscribers mark, and I'm about to hit 150 right now. So thank you all so much for all your support. So in this video, I'm actually going to be doing a bit of customization. I'm going to be showing you the top five cursors for your Linux desktop. So your cursor is very essential to your Linux computer. I mean, you use it to interact with things all the time. So having one that looks nice and is fun to use is very important. So now these cursors that I'm going to be showing you are actually going to need to use the GTK toolkit. So make sure your desktop environment is based off of GTK. And desktop environments that are based off of GTK include GNOME, XFCE, Unity, Cinnamon, and LXDE. And if you're not sure if it supports it or not, just look it up. So let's start. So before you actually get into the customization, make sure you have a proper tweaking methods installed to customize your system. So on the GNOME desktop environment, you want to make sure that you have the GNOME tweak tool installed. It looks like this. And of course, you can always get it through your software center. So if I just look up tweak tool, it's there. I already have it installed. Just make sure you install it before you start installing any cursors. So now if you're on an XFCE desktop environment, you actually don't have to install anything. All you have to do is go over to your settings manager. Now click on mouse and touchpad. And click on the third item in the menu, which will be theme. And from here, you can just select whichever one you want. If you're running stock Ubuntu, then you are running the Unity desktop environment. And to change your cursor on that, you actually need to install the Unity Tweak tool. Now, if you don't have that, you can go over to your software center and install it from there. So just open up Ubuntu software and look up Tweak and install the Unity Tweak tool. So now that you have the proper tweaking methods installed, we're ready to actually start installing some themes and customizing our Linux desktop. So the first theme on the list is called Breeze Siri. So what you can do is open up a web browser. And here, just look up Breeze Siri Cursors. And you want to click on the GNOME Look website right here. And here you have the Breeze Siri Cursors. Now, these cursors is act are actually a pack and they come in lots of different colors and variations here. So if you click on files on the side, right here, you have all the different types. Now my personal favorites are the snow and obsidian cursors, but you have tons of them to choose from. And on top of this, if you are a lefty, there are also the left-handed cursors right here, and you have the breeze series for lefties. They're the exact same cursors, just turned around. So in this one, I'm going to be installing maybe snow. So let's go to files and click on whichever link you want. So I have Breeze Snow from Dropbox right here. I'm just gonna hit no thanks, continue to view, and download. So it's downloaded now. I'm going to open up a file manager, go to downloads, and then extract the Breeze Snow cursors. Now that they're extracted, we can copy them to our icons directory. So right click, open a terminal or however you do it on your system, and then just type sudo cp-r breeze snow or whichever breeze variant you're using, and then slash user slash share slash icons. Enter your root password and they should be moved. So let's open up the tweet tool or the settings 
And you can see that we have them right here. And there we have it. And if you're into the breeze cursors on KDE, these cursors are for you. So the next icon theme on this list is called Hacknight. So you can open up a web browser. And here, search Hacknight GNOME cursors. And click on the GNOME look link. And here are the cursors. So again, we can go over to Files. And you want to download the latest version. And of course, you have the different ones here. So you have right-handed, left-handed, multi-sized, all that kind of stuff. I'm probably just going to keep this the same size. So you can just download this one right here. And again, open up a file manager. Extract it. And here, you actually want to go into the folder and then move this file. So I'm just going to rename this to Hacknide. And now I can do the same thing as the last one. So sudo cp-r hacknide and then slash user share icons. Okay, good. Open up tweak. Here they are. It's kind of big, but <laughs> these cursors kind of give me a Windows feel, but they're more of a comic look. So it's kind of a nice blend. So the third item on this list is called Capitaine Cursors. It's actually one of my longtime favorites. And this cursor is a nice blend between KDE and Mac OS cursors. I know Mac OS, but it still looks nice. So you can look up Capitaine Cursors. And this time, you want to click on the GitHub link. From here, you can just click clone or download and download the zip file. Again, open up a file manager and extract that file. Now from here, you have the instructions. So what we're going to do is run this right here. So go over here and go inside the folder, open a terminal and run this command. Tweak tool, and here it is. So it's kind of similar to the Breeze cursors. It does share Breeze, the KDE theme, but also the animations are a little bit different, so that's nice. Okay guys, moving right along to the next mouse cursors, we have Comics Cursors. So open up web browser and just search Comics Cursors, like this. And click on the Gnome Look link. Okay, so here they are. They have a bit of a comic look. No surprise there. And click on Files. And you can see that there are a lot of different versions here. Now the ones at the top are variations that exclude a certain mouse type. But if you go to the bottom one, you just have the regular one. So I'm just going to use that one. Open up our files and extract that. So here we have it. And you can see that there are actually a ton of different variants. So you can just open up a terminal right in this folder. So make sure to click into it. And then from here, pick whichever one you want. I think I'm just going to use the black version so you can run sudo cp-r and then the name of the ones that you want to install. So I'm using the black and then user share icons. So let's see how they look. And here we have it. And boom. So it's kind of small, but it does have a cool feel to it. Okay, everyone, we're on to our final set of cursors. Now, these ones are pretty unique. You'll see why in a second. So you can go here and look up the dot gnome cursors and click on the gnome look link. And here they are. So you can really see that they are pretty unique. And you can go over to Files and download this right here. And of course, extract it. Now go into that folder 
and go into dot zero point three or whatever the version is, and you'll see that there are two variants: the dark one and the light one. Now, before you copy it over to the icons directory, I recommend changing the name of it to something else, like the dot, and then maybe dash light, because when you copy it, it will just show as light, which is not very helpful. So I've renamed it to the dot dash light, and I'm going to copy the, this file right here. Whoops. So I have that, and I can do sudo cp r, and then of course user share icons, and it's done. So let's check these cool ones out, and here they are. <laughs> so yeah, it is a different experience. One thing I really like about these cursors is that they are not right or left hand dependent. I mean, they're just a circle, so you can really use them either with either hands. Which I think is very innovative. In case you missed it in the video, these are the screenshots of all the different cursors I reviewed. So everyone, that's it for this video, and before I go, I just wanted to show you one thing. If you noticed, all of the cursors were from Gnome Look. So you go to gnomelook.org, and go over to the side here and click on the mouse cursors sub menu. You have a ton, a ton of different cursors to choose from. There are a large variety of them, and there is one to match your needs for sure. So hopefully, you apply some of these cursors from the video to your Linux desktop to spruce it up a bit and make using your computer a bit more fun. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome Linux customization videos and more. And as always, thank you for watching.